Vitiated? Without objection. Madam President, I rise in support of President Biden's nominee to be the next U.S. District Court Judge for the District of Minnesota, and that is Jeff Bryan. I want to thank my colleague, Tina Smith. Uh, the two of us convened a, a judicial selection committee in our own state um, with um, very outstanding people who helped uh, recommend some names to the White House. I'd also like to thank Senator Durbin and Graham for helping to move Judge Bryan's nomination uh, through the Judiciary Committee, on which you serve, Madam President, on a bipartisan basis, and to thank Leader Schumer uh, for making time for the Senate uh, to consider uh, his nomination. Uh, Judge Bryan is a dedicated public servant uh, with a distinguished career spanning over 16 years serving the people of Minnesota, including as a state court judge and as a former federal prosecutor. Through his devotion to justice and the rule of law, he has earned the respect and support of judges, attorneys, and law enforcement officials across the political spectrum. Uh, this is why he received a strong vote in the Judiciary Committee and why I hope my colleagues on both sides of the aisle will support his confirmation. Judge Bryan was born in an army hospital in Fort Bragg. His mom was an English teacher, and his dad was a captain with the 82nd Airborne, who instilled in Judge Bryan an appreciation for public service. His father's service in the army brought their family to Fort Bliss near El Paso, Texas, where Judge Bryan grew up. After graduating summa cum laude from the University of Texas, Judge Bryan went back home to El Paso and worked as a substitute teacher. He then headed to Yale for law school. As a law student, he served as a student supervisor in the Parents and Children's Clinic and was president of the law school Christian Fellowship. He also met the love of his life, a Minnesotan. We knew we'd get to Minnesota at some point in this story. He met the love of his life, a Minnesotan at law school. Ultimately, he traded the Texas heat for the Minnesota winters, and he and Liz settled down in St. Paul. If confirmed, Judge Bryant will be the first Latino federal judge in Minnesota. He's active in the Minnesota Hispanic Bar Association, tutoring students, and has served on the board of Twin Cities Habitat for Humanity. For 20 years, even before he had kids of his own, he taught Sunday school at his church. He clerked for Judge Paul Magnuson, who was a judge appointed by President Reagan and spent several years in private practice. He spent six years as an assistant U.S. attorney where he prosecuted violent gangs and large-scale drug organizations. He prosecuted over 350 criminals and directed what was, at the time, the largest meth investigation, cocaine investigation ever conducted in the District of Minnesota. He played a key role in dismantling a cocaine trafficking network that spanned from McAllen, Texas, to St. Cloud, Minnesota. He won the Department of Justice Case of the Year Award for his work on that case. Additionally, he led a meth investigation that resulted in the recovery of more than 9,600 grams of meth, as well as convictions of more than 60 defendants. So I don't think it is a surprise that we have heard from former law enforcement officials at the local, state, and federal levels who praised him, of course, for his work and devotion to justice but also particularly for his work ethic and his dedication as a prosecutor. He was hired as a prosecutor by Erica McDonald, who was appointed by President Trump to serve as a U.S. attorney for Minnesota. She said that Judge Bryant was a no-nonsense federal prosecutor and is an outstanding nominee for judicial appointment. Judge Bryan left the U.S. Attorney's Office in 2013 and was appointed to serve on the Ramsey County District Court in St. Paul. There he presided over more than 8,000 
cases, including violent felony criminal cases, and was only reversed in four cases. In 2019, he was appointed to serve as a judge on the Minnesota Court of Appeals. He has sat on over 500 cases as an appellate judge and has authored nearly 200 opinions and has only been reversed in two cases. Judge Bryant has understandably earned endorsements of some of the most esteemed jurists in our state, including four senior U.S. District Court judges who were appointed by presidents of both parties. Among them is the man he clerked for, Judge Paul Magnuson, who described Judge Bryant as a person of exceptional character and offered his highest recommendation. In addition, nearly 40 state judges appointed by governors of both parties enthusiastically support this nomination. They praise Judge Bryant as a prepared, fair-minded, and hard-working judge, and has said that he has a determined focus on explaining and applying the law in an unbiased manner. For those same reasons, the ABA Standing Committee on the Federal Judiciary rated Judge Bryant as well qualified to serve as a district court judge, the highest rating that the committee awards. I know that Jeff Bryant will make an outstanding federal district court judge for the District of Minnesota. I urge my colleagues to support his confirmation. Thank you, and I yield the floor. And I need the absence of a quorum. The clerk will call the roll. Ms. Baldwin. 